वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.39 सो स्टेटमेंट इज द सॉलिड स्पिंडल ए बी हैज डायमीटर 1.5 इंच एंड इज मेड अप ऑफ स्टील जी इज गिवन एज 11.2 इंटू टेन एस पावर सिक्स पी एस आई एंड ए लॉर्बल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज 12 के एस आई वाइल्ड स्लीव सी डी इज मेड अप ऑफ ब्रॉस विद जी इज 5.6 पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन एस पावर सिक्स पी एस आई एंड ए लॉबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवन के एस आई determine the largest angle through which end a can be rotated so you can see this is a spindle ab that is made up of steel and this is connected with this sleeve and they are welded together clear uh, the diameter of this steel rod is ds which is given as 1.5 while outer diameter of sleeve is 3 inch and thickness of this is 1 or 4 inch so you have to find the small largest angle a d through which it can be rotated so you can see this is a one unit so due to this torque it will there will be a twisting effect in this rod as well as in this so total twisting uh, or maximum twisting will be at a so let's start with the solution so what we will do is that we will first uh, analyze we will perform stress analysis of solid spindle ab as we know that uh, diameter of solid rod is given as 3 inch clear so radius c will be equal to ds divided by 2 which is 3.3 divided by 2 and that is 1.5 inch also we know that uh, maximum or sharing stress due to torsion is equal to t into c divided by j so we, what we will do is that we will if you want to find t so t will be equal to ta into j divided by c and we know that j is for solid rod it is pi by 2 c power 4 so you can just put it in this formula so torque t is equal to ta and j is pi by 2 c power 4 and there is c as well so you will get this torque will be equal to ta into pi c cube over 2 now you have the values allowable sharing stress for uh, this steel is 12 ksi so just put the value 12 into 10 raised to power 3 multiply by pi which is 3.1417 multiply by c is 0. Point, uh, c is zero. okay let me check diameter of this circular okay so this diameter is not 3 this is 1.5 and c will be 1.5 divided by 2 is 0.75 you can check it in the given data it so 0.75 power 3 divided by 2 and that when you calculate it you will get this torque will be equal to 7.95 into 10 to the power 3 and unit will be pound into inch this is the torque developed in the uh, steel rod now what we will do is that we will perform stress analysis stress analysis for the sleeve for sleeve cd cd again you can check over here the outer diameter of this sleeve is 3 inch clear so outer dia d outer is equal to 3 inch so c outer c outer will be equal to 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.5 inch also c inner will be equal to c outer minus thickness so you can see this is the c outer and this is the thickness so c inner will be outer 
see outer minus thickness so 1.5 minus thickness is 1 over 4 inch which is equal to 0 0.25 so you will get c inner will be equal to 0 uh, 1.25 inch and j for this leaf will be equal to pi by 2 into c outer power 4 minus c inner power 4 so just put the value pi by 2 c outer is 1.5 power 4 minus c inner is 1.25 power 4 and when you calculate it you will get 4.1172 inch power 4 now again sharing uh, torque for this uh, i let me sharing stress is equal to t into c outer which is c outer maximum distance from the center which is c outer divided by j so from here this t will be equal to um, ta into j divided by c outer okay so just put the value max sharing stress is 7 ksi so 7 into 10 raised to power 3 clear 7 into 10 raised to power 3 multiply by j which is 4.1172 divided by c outer which is 1.5 inch so you will get the value of torque will be 19.21 into 10 raised to power 3 pounds into inch so now you have two torque one is this one and other one is this one so we will choose the smaller we will choose the smaller torque because it will be safe so smaller torque will govern so the value of t is equal to 7.95 into 10 to the power 3 pounds into inch now we will find the angle of twist in solid shaft so deformation which is the angle of twist of spindle a b that will be theta a b will be equal to torque into length divided by g j so you can see the torque is we have selected which is nine uh, seven point seven point nine five into ten to the power three length of this rod is eight plus four a b rod is total length is this twelve so we will write multiply by twelve divided by g for the steel shaft is 11.2 into 10 raised to power 6 psi 11.2 into 10 raised to power 6 psi and j is pi by 2 c power 4 and c c for this solid shaft was 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 power 4 so when you calculate it you will get the angle of twist in solid shaft a b comes out to be 0 0.01713 8 radian now what we will do is that uh, we will find the deformation of sleep deformation of sleeve cd and that deformation theta cd will be equal to torque into length divided by gj clear torque is 7.95 into 10 to the power 3 what is the length of this sleeve so length of sleeve is 8 inch and g is 5.6 into 10 to the power 6 so 8 multiply by 8 divided by 5.6 into 10 to the power 6 and j is this one which we have calculated 4.6 one one seven two so when you calculate you will get the angle of twist in sleeve cd will be equal to 0 0.002758 radian 
now you can see that total angle are the largest angle of twist at point a with a d will be equal to so theta a d will be equal to theta a b plus theta c d why because you can see that angle of twist in this and this unit both combines will give you the maximum deformation largest angle through which end a can be rotated so just put the values theta a b 0 0.0 17138 plus 0 0.002758 so theta ad will be equal to 0 0.019896 radian so we know that 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 radian will be equal to 360 divided by 2 pi and that will be 180 degree divided by pi so just multiply this 0 0.019896 multiply by 180 divided by pi and you will get the answer theta ad will be equal to 1.140 degree so this is the maximum angle through which point a can be rotated and that was all about this problem 3-39 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video which i post if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching